Well, so much of the conversation during this pandemic has been protecting our children, and the focus of a lot of that conversation has been on our schools and education. Not just for the kids, but for the staff and the teachers, too. We're now going to bring you a story, an update on a story that we brought you last week about a Cuyahoga Falls music teacher, Shelby Miller, who turned to social media to plead with school officials to reconsider a return to full-time in-person teaching. It's hard. This is all really, really hard. Well, school officials have heard from many teachers and parents with similar concerns. In a special meeting last night, school board members and the superintendent, Dr. Todd Nichols, discussed keeping students home through Martin Luther King Jr. Day in mid-January as the safest option. Nichols became emotional when talking about the concerns of parents and teachers. These decisions are horrific. And I take them extremely seriously and very personally, because that's my job. This is my job. It's what I've dedicated 33 years of my life to, a long, long, long time. And this, this particular time is the hardest. It's the hardest. Heard our community loud and clear. The tough thing about this is the opinions vary so drastically. And there's so much passion around one's opinion. And like I said, I do take it personally. And well, the Cuyahoga Falls School District is expected to formally announce its decision to fully return to remote teaching later on this evening. And man, when he said that it, there are so many drastically different opinions and those people are very vocal, I got to tell you, that's not just in Cuyahoga Falls. That is every school right. district around Northeast Ohio trying to make this decision in or out what's going to happen. And that is a constantly evolving conversation. Jay. And not just Northeast Ohio. This is going on around really? the United States and worldwide. What do we do with our school age children during this mm. pandemic?